to blame Arab Muslim violence on the Jewish aspirations to return to the land of Israel is also ridiculous. Because if you know a little bit of Jewish history, Muslims have been persecuting Jews ever since Jews rejected Muhammad and refused to convert to Islam. It didn't matter where Jews lived. It didn't matter where they wanted to live. They were Jews and they were hated and they were a target. And so this is an excerpt from a very famous letter written by Maimonides. I think we've mentioned this before, the Rambam, to the Jewish community of Yemen more than 800 years ago. It's known as Igeret Teman. The letter was written by the Rambam to encourage the Jews who were so demoralized and downtrodden in total despair because of the murder, the persecution, and the horrible Arab Muslim oppression their community endured living as a Jewish minority in Yemen. And you see where the green line is. I'm just going to translate it directly into English, but this is what it says. With all this, we will not be able to be saved from their abundant evil and violence at all times. And all the time that we pursue peace with them, they pursue us with cruelty and war. And so, saying 1967, 1948, mm, this is 800 years ago, Muslims outside of the land of Israel were persecuting Jews. Just as they have persecuted every minority that has ever had the misfortune of dwelling in their midst, the Muslims persecuted the Jews. And today, nothing has changed. The murderous hate, the jealousy, the venomous religious anger toward the Jew, it's rooted deep into the religious fabric of this war. And so to any honest observer, it's clear that this has nothing to do with Gaza, nothing to do with politics. This is a religious war. Now we've gone now to a deeper level. So let's keep going. The Jews were the first people that are mentioned in the Quran who rejected Muhammad. And there are many quotes in the Quran that can be understood to be really anti-Jewish. And the fact that the Jews live right now in the heart of the Muslim world, have built the most successful, thriving, free, attractive country in the region, surrounded by defunct, failing, uneducated, poverty-stricken Muslim countries is such an embarrassment for Islam that the hate of the existence of the state of Israel, it's like an existential hate. It's like a living contradiction to their entire worldview. How can Islam be the ultimate truth if all the blessings and prophecies are being fulfilled through the Jews in Israel and not through the Muslims around them in the Middle East?